it has been another three months bringing us to nine months total on my natural bodybuilding transformation following the carnivore diet and guys it's a bit of an understatement that bodybuilding is the last thing i think anyone's worried about that anyone's really doing but i mean what is there to do you know when you're locked inside all day because of all this nonsense besides you know lift weights eat you know thankfully i have some business stuff to keep me going but you know i would imagine if i was the average person you know i'd be spending a lot of time working out so although you know eating a lot of food working out spending all this extra energy is not conducive to what's going on in the world right now i still did it you know i figured i spent six months doing this let's stick with it and my plan was you know to launch my bodybuilding routine three months ago after the six month transformation show you guys what i was doing but all the gym shut down i can't exactly launch a workout routine so at this point in time we're pretty much stuck working out until gyms open back up and who knows if that's going to be this year or next year who knows if it's ever going to happen you know i put in all this time and work and effort and now it's like what do i do i'm just lifting weights for the hell of it at this point and i haven't even really jumped into the fitness community yet so uh, let's do a quick weigh-in and go over how these past few months have gone so three months ago we were 155 156 and today we are 154 holding the camera so we're about 152 and i actually weighed 149 uh, three days ago after i sweat in the sun for a couple hours so the progress has slowed down substantially you know one reason is muscle memory only really makes up for so much and my routine is designed to put on as much muscle in as little time as possible so you're able to achieve your natural limitations fairly quickly and then once you hit that wall of like 15 20 25 pounds of muscle gains come very slowly and you know as a natural bodybuilder i knew after you know six seven months of training most of my gains from the past would be back and then maybe another three to six months to be where you know i'm pretty much at as much muscle as a natural can possibly achieve you know so that brings up a few questions you know is natural bodybuilding a waste of time i mean yeah i personally do think it is and although i don't want to do this at all at this point with youtube i think fitness is kind of like my last ditch effort to see you know how things can go my sleep still hasn't been good uh, my stomach's still been completely screwed up so you know as i spoke about in yesterday's day of eating video I really just want to be at a point where I can eat as much food as I want, I can work out optimally, I can sleep optimally, and if I can do that for like six months to a year and, you know, really bulk up a bit, you know, up my body fat percentage a bit, you know, that, that's something I would really like to do before pushing all this bodybuilding stuff to the side, but, you know, I think it might take another three to six months of me just following a really strict uh, diet just to get healthy, and then three to six months from now, Hopefully I'm feeling better and I'll be able to do this optimally. So I think I'm going to be doing this bodybuilding stuff for at least another year and a half, two years, and, and we'll see where it takes me. You know, if at that point I'm not doing well, then, then we can, uh, we can jump ship and do something else. But you know, we're nine months in, what's another nine months, what's another two years. Uh, I just want to put in some effort and show you guys. I actually do know what I'm talking about. And you know, the crazy part is, as I said, I never launched my workout routine yet. I never really talked about fitness. I just did a few silly videos showing you guys some exercises and people made fun of me for that and took that at face value as my fitness knowledge. So hopefully the gyms do start opening up soon. I can fill my workout routine, get things going. But in the meantime, I'm just going to try to stay in the gym, work out consistently, you know, cement some of these gains, put on a little bit more muscle and you know, weighing only about 150 pounds at 5'8", uh, you know, what, what more can I really do? I mean, if I worked out my legs and I put, you know, 5, 10 pounds of muscle on each leg and then I weighed like 170, I guess that would be, you know, a more realistic indicator of what more people around my height look like, you know, because when you have like skinny twig legs, it's a little bit misleading, like, oh, your upper body doesn't look like you weigh 150 pounds. But the reason I'm bringing up the weight stuff is because I was thinking, you know, is it possible to turn pro in men's physique if you had really good genetics and worked out really hard as a natural? I, that's up in the air. I think some people could. I definitely don't have the genetics for that. I don't have the body frame, the frame size. 
I think in a really, really, really unique scenario, top tier genetics, you could turn pro in men's physique, but under no circumstance could you compete at the top level. It would be like a fluke. Like you have really, really good genetics. You've been natural bodybuilding for five or 10 years. You know, you go to a show, maybe a couple guys came in off and you got your pro card. I, I think that's in the realm of possibilities, but obviously not for me. You know, if I'm 5'8", 150 pounds now, my stage weight would be what, 140 pounds? I'm just nowhere near big enough. And unfortunately it does take the performance enhancing drugs to compete in this sport. You know, that being said, the same with every sport. You know, I, I wouldn't just drop bodybuilding and go do running or sprinting or boxing or baseball or play any other sport because the performance enhancing drugs are across all sports. So if you want to do something as a natural, you really have to enjoy doing it. You know, with that idea in mind that you're never going to compete at the top level because you're not using those performance enhancing drugs. And, you know, natural bodybuilding is kind of redundant when it's the sport where, you know, steroid usage is rampant and most well known. Uh, whereas the other sports, like some people even think the top athletes are natural, which is completely ridiculous. Uh, but natural bodybuilding has some type of like integrity and it's something you can work towards and continue to build upon despite that overarching performance enhancing drug thing. Uh, which is why I like it, which is, you know, why we'll see how this goes for a few years. And uh, although the three months have gone by pretty quickly, you know, it seems like it flew by. Every single day in the gym, every single day eating these meals was like nightmare and torture. You know, those, that hour in the gym every day I'm spending in my garage working out, it's like, I really don't want to do it. I'm just over it. I'm like, but, you know, I've said many times that, you know, do what you're good at. You know, let me stick to this bodybuilding stuff. Let me see how the fitness stuff goes. What's the point of me, you know, going to a farm, doing something else where I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing and I'd have to pretty much start from scratch. Before we hit some poses, uh, the diet, the workout routine, you know, I've really been looking forward to bringing it to you guys, but you know, with all that's going on in the world, I don't know when that's going to happen. Uh, hopefully sometime in the next few months, maybe we'll just do it anyway. Um, uh, and hopefully they don't shut things down again, but we'll see. You know, it is a bit discouraging that all of these other fitness channels, these influencers, you know, aren't talking about what's really going on and are kind of just pretending like nothing is happening. Uh, but we'll see. So let's just hit a couple bodybuilding poses. So if you guys are comparing me to my last progress video, I probably just look a little bit leaner and around the same size. Uh, if I carved up and ate something today, I, I would probably look a little bigger and not as lean. I mean, it's 2.30 and I haven't eaten or drinking anything today. So I was editing this video and I thought I looked really flat. Uh, since I had two meals and carved up a bit, I thought I would just, you know, film another clip to show you guys how much, you know, you can change your physique over the course of just, you know, a couple hours, let alone a couple of days to a week or two. Uh, it really does make a substantial difference, you know, what you wake up looking like versus a few meals and versus after workout. 
And I also forgot two talking points and mainly about how unhealthy bodybuilding is. One being the contest prep aspect, all the drugs they have to use over their 14 weeks, how strict the diet is, and if bodybuilders understood more about health, if they used higher quality nutrition and a whole bunch of other things, you know, they'd maintain a lower body fat, they'd be able to cut weight easier, they would feel better doing so, and they'd be able to do it in a healthier and safer way. The second point was, when you use performance enhancing drugs, in my opinion, you are in no position to give advice to a natural athlete, you know, an athlete that is not using those performance enhancing drugs. One, because to develop that understanding of what it takes to do it as a natural is something completely different. And, you know, if a lot of these guys are willing to lie about their drug usage, what they're using, and use their physique to sell products to natural people, you know, what else are they lying about? You know, are these people that are giving you workout routines actually giving you a workout routine that works, or are they feeding you something to just keep you coming back for more? It's very difficult to say. I think. There's a lack of honesty and integrity in fitness and nutrition. And, and hopefully I can bring some, you know, I guess, integrity uh, to this when I eventually decide to uh, bring out my workout routine and my diet tips. So we're not gonna take any measurements, mainly because I don't think anything has really grown that much. Maybe my arms are a little bigger and leaner, uh, but we'll save the measurement stuff for the 12 month progress and maybe we'll buck up a little bit. We'll try to eat some more food just to put on a little body fat to, uh, to inflate those measurements. Uh, so back in 2015, April, I did a natural physique competition. And you guys have seen me use the picture from that competition a couple times. Uh, and since like I'm so lean, like I could just fast for a day or two and then just literally pump up and step on a physique stage, I think we might try to do a natural competition sometime uh, next year around April or May. I think the competition is in April. It's the NPC Mid-Atlantic Natural Classic. Uh, so we'll see if that's canceled next year or not. And maybe we'll do that just for the hell of it. Get some pictures and have some reference. And maybe we'll do a competition next year and then the, the following year just to kind of keep track of this stuff and uh, and see how it goes. Uh, the interesting thing about that last competition was that was my natural tan and I did everything naturally like, you know, no spray tan, no carb up stuff, no, uh, you know, just trying to keep it healthy. So that's going to be the theme here. Try to, you know, although bodybuilding isn't healthy and consuming a lot of food isn't that healthy, you know, the way I'm doing it compared to how all of these other bodybuilders are doing it is definitely, definitely healthier than, uh, than just... 99.9% .9 of the population in general, you know, focusing on nutrients, vitamins, minerals, uh, and then, you know, carbohydrate and amino acid intake, you know, for the bodybuilding aspect. So we'll see what happens. I think they're just going to lock things down in three months again. And uh, Frankie boy is probably going to be stuck bodybuilding for two years before he gets to uh, sell his routine or do anything along those lines. But uh, we'll see. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you do want like one-on-one -on -one health and diet consulting and fitness related stuff, you can reach out to me uh, via my website, frank com, and I will uh, guide you guys loosely through what I have been doing uh, for this bodybuilding stuff as well as my diet. Uh, but in the future, I do plan on having, you know, a website with the workout routine, full video instructional course, as well as an overview of the diet as well. And it's just a really high volume training routine that focuses on hypertrophy and hopefully uh, you know, we can translate the training ideas to other things like powerlifting and calisthenics and all that stuff and just build a, a really productive community of, of open-minded people. And hopefully that's within a month or two, but again, we'll have to see. See you guys soon.